This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Well, that's helpful. Nah. All right, well, I can't shoot the DeLorean. What do you know about this shoe, Aini? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! That wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. Kitchen ain't legal. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini? Cobbler? Starbase Zero. I hope Jimmy's fixed the wild gunman machine. Well, that's what I should have done tonight. We got wild gunman, uh... Nintendo, I guess, released I guess it on virtual console. Game. Okay, now I'm ready. Liquor store. That's more my. That's definitely more my speed. Probably owns the shoe. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? <laughs> or owned the Why shoe. Couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator. Step away from the door. Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. <laughs> Einstein, come on. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't ya? I recognize her uh, voice actress. What's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. State your business, child! You're making me miss Merv! Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. That's right, we're Einstein 1985. Here brought we're me. Griffin is still and well, Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. It's a shoe. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Hi. Sorry, Einstein. I thought it was going to come in anyway. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. I like tea and candy. I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. 
<laughs> uh, Have a seat, Sonny. Hey, you kids! Put out those cigarettes! This is basically the worst woman on earth. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. But why? Not about to let some street why would get you do this? All over them. Might as well take some candy. Uh, the candy looks older than I am. Or not. Picture. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Anything else? Uh, cat trophies. What? what are these? My editorial trophies. I want cat one. lovers quarterly. Oh. It's legitimate journalism. It's about ethics and cat journalism. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the. You! It's spelled with a U, you illiterate vandal! Well, I guess we're gonna have to talk to her. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? There might be. What's up? 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stash. Sorry I haven't been in to get a, uh, a blaze rod and get brewing things going. Been busy. Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Chip Tanner! Get away from that hubcap before Biff named his kid father. Tiff? Why? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But. Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh. Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes, the day that Speakeasy burned down. <laughs> okay, speakeasy. that's helpful. In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, Skyhouse is a good idea. young man. It's actually kind of my idea, but whatever. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't mm, romanticize nope. <laughs> the past, young man. I ain't drinking no shoe gin. was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history, my Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Of course it right does, where her. that disgusting videotape rental store right, squats today. 
I'll still be on tomorrow if you want to come back for more. The building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. I guess somewhere in these stacks, there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. You're not helping. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Oh, there's the video store. That's not a video. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. I see what is there. Oh, cat bolts. Let me check those. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. Like, I'm not even using. Adventure game logic here. I'm just, uh. Oh, newspapers. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Slain? Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Okay. Run. My newspapers! Sorry, Mr. Run. Uh, let me... No! Run. You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out, get out, get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Do you know what a phone is? Oh, that's right, the confusion runs on trash. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right! Oh, Steinbeck! Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. If you know hey, Steinbeck, wouldn't he know who he is? Sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? I've got to turn on the time circuits first. Oh, yeah. Time circuits on. Flux capacitor, uh, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. I would have gone a little earlier to give yourself some wiggle room, but okay.
Einstein's not wearing a seatbelt. I haven't beaten a cop, so I might not be that either. Please don't shoot at my taco. How handy. I just want to check something real quick. Okay, that is a lot louder than I wanted to be. I'm sorry, it's been loud this entire time. Will I back off? Alright. I thought I adjusted it ahead of time, but apparently not! I must have done it with the other episodes. Where'd you go now, boy? Or it reset, I don't know. Where my shoe shined? Or not? Young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? I just saw Zemeckis' you know name, street, yeah. And I'm looking for a man in the street. And Bob Yale. Street. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal oh, gin establishment. Movie. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... Well, she hates hooligans, so... You mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Yeah, tell them, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? Never mind, I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Just shake your hand. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet. I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. 